Hello, welcome to Theosophy in Wales. I'm Dave Marsland. Well, I'd like to talk about the law of periodicity, um, sometimes referred to as the law of ebb and flow, and also um, related to it, the doctrine of constant renewal. Well, the law of periodicity says that for every period of activity, there has to be a corresponding period of rest. And this is reflected in night and day, waking and sleeping, um, the ebb and flow of tides, and the um, existence and obscuration and, or, or prolia of the universe. Now, within this, there's the doctrine of constant renewal. Now, according to the doctrine of constant renewal, Without renewal, forces would exhaust themselves or, or they would burn out. Now, uh, applying this to the universe, the universe um, exists for a given period of time, Manvantara, and then it goes into obscuration or it, it, it leaves manifestation, it no longer manifests. Uh, this is known as a pralaya. Um, it still exists in potential though because it will, it will return, it will manifest again. As a, as a future universe. Um, as an analogy, I can take a football analogy with this. Um, the universe is a little bit like um, a football crowd that is present at the game for the duration of the match and then it will, um, it will disperse. The, the stadium will be empty, the crowd will technically, well the crowd will no longer exist, but the crowd will return, hopefully, the crowd will return for the next game. So the crowd during that period between the, the matches um, actually exists in potential. Now, um, from the scientific point of view with the universe, most uh, scientists now uh, agree that the universe had a beginning and will have an end. Um, there have been um, exceptions to this. Um, Fred Hoyle, whose ideas was, he had some takers for his ideas in the 1960s, um, he believed in um, a steady state universe, um, which he described as eternal and unchanging. Well, really, that would be untenable uh, because it surely would just, just burn out. Um, so, and very, I don't think there's any takers for that idea today. Most scientists, uh, even if they don't accept the Big Bang, accept. A beginning and an end um, to the current universe. Um, so renewal is there um, with the universe um, and that law of renewal pervades the universe it's with the the solar system, um, planets, suns, um, all uh, have their, their cycle of life, they run their course, their, their manvantaras and pralayas. Um, now as I said um, the doctrine of constant renewal pervades the universe. I see it as well in, in human society that civilizations, ruling dynasties, um, economic systems, or in social systems, all have their day. They all run their course and probably are replaced by something else. And also we have to to work certainly well not just within the doctrine of constant renewal, a lot of periods as well, we have to accept that things change, th things don't stay the same, so we have to work with that. But um, with the law of con doctrine of constant renewal, um, we have to um, work with it uh, in the sense that you can't do without sleep. Um, if you, with the experiments we've done with this, if you try and do without sleep, you run into serious trouble. Uh, people deprived of the concept of night and day, sometimes in an enclosed environment. Uh, it does all sorts of, of weird things to their body clock and ultimately would probably damage their health. Um, within the law of nature, and this is something I think should be publicised a bit more, um, public bi or buildings in, in cities now sometimes are lit up all night. And bats um, come out at night to, to feed. They don't know it's night 
and they, they don't come out and they starve to death. It, that is being addressed, but I think that should have a lot more publicity. So clearly, um, we, you know, our artificial lighting systems um, are, are affecting the animal kingdom. I don't know um, whether that affects any other animals, but um, certainly with, with bats, they're, um, they're starving to death. Um, it's being addressed, but they're, they're starving to death because they don't know it's night. And that's when they come out to feed. So there we are. That's, uh, that's something that I think should be... A, there should be more aware, awareness of this. Um, anyway, um, the, um, the law of periodicity governs everything. And it's something that we, we all have to be aware of and we all have to work with.